found a way to get a 140 three-point rating. Now, I know you probably think I'm capping, so drop a like and subscribe to the channel while I explain. First, I'm going to bring out my shot creator build, which already has a 99 three-pointer. Then I'm going to equip a plus one left shooting arm sleeve and a plus one right arm sleeve. And when it comes to badges, my teammate is going to run Hall of Fame Floor General, which gives teammates a boost to their offensive attributes. So this is going to give a plus four to my three-pointer. And when it comes to my takeovers, of course, my primary takeover is going to be limitless range takeover which by itself activated would give me a plus eight to all my shooting stats but we're going to double up on this and run limitless range takeover and spot up precision takeover which would give me a plus 15 to all my shooting attributes but we're not stopping there we got juice park as well which gives an extra boost to your attributes when takeover is activated so the double sharp takeover and the juice perk all activated at the same time is going to give me a plus 21 to all my shooting attributes and we're not done just yet my teammate is going to be running team ratings boost takeover which gives a large boost to your teammates offensive abilities for a period of time now this by itself would give me a plus four to all my shooting stats but he's gonna double up on it and it's gonna give me a plus seven to all my shooting stats but not only that he's also gonna have juice perk so the double teams ratings boost takeover and juice perk all combined is gonna give me a plus 13 to all my shooting stats and not to mention i have unlimited shooting boost but that doesn't technically affect my three-point rating now lastly here is a complete breakdown to all the numbers we started with a 99 three-pointer for my original build and we added a total of additional 43 point ratings onto that. What's 99 plus 40? Yes, 139. So we will be testing the power of a 139 three pointer today. And even though my three point rating will never physically show that it's above a 99, Mike Wang, the gameplay director for 2K, has confirmed in the past that you can go past these 99 attribute limits in game. And yeah, I know it's not 140, it's only 139. 140 just sounds better for the title, okay? So can you please forgive me? Okay, let's. Let's go on to game number one what is good youtube it's your boy henry aka double h back at it with yet another banger and in today's video we are going past the limits as we enter into game number one on the hunt for this 139 three-point rating so drop a like if you want more videos like these and subscribe to the channel if you're new over 80 percent of y'all are not subbed make sure to sub we got plenty of other banger videos on the channel and i also did a video just like this but 140 driving dunk but anyways going into game number one basically the plan was to get team takeover in the last video we did this on the twos now i'm doing it on the threes now if you're wondering if floor general or another player having double play take another player having floor general would stack it doesn't stack so yeah, having an extra player really doesn't do anything. The only reason I'm on the threes is so we can obviously shoot from way deeper. You know, the twos court is a lot smaller. The threes court is basically like a full court basketball court, okay? So yeah, we're on the threes. We're basically just spamming passes to the point where that dude just wasn't even playing because we were just spamming passes for so long. But yeah, we're going for team takeover and the method for team takeover is to get everybody involved as much as possible. So we were spamming passes like crazy. We were trying to get everybody at least one basket. We were trying to get some steals and blocks as a team and as you can see the takeover meter bar is going up and up and up and obviously you see in the bottom left hand corner i'm going to have you guys updated on our three point rating during this gameplay um as the games go on there are going to be a lot of gameplays we're going to show stage gameplay park gameplay all that but this is my first game using this 139 three-point rating so this is the first time ever testing it we're just trying to get team takeover so me and jay curry who's the one with floor general and the play take uh can both get takeover so we can actually reach that 139 three-point rating because obviously we both need takeover okay so it's 11 11 they get another bucket obviously we're passing a lot you know we're not really going for the win we're just trying to get this takeover then go for the wins lead our team takeover meter it's pretty high up there we're very close i shoot this three right here we have a 105 three-point rating right now only off of the hall of fame floor journal and the arm sleeves you see connor gets a good defensive stop right there i have a wide on the fast break i'm not gonna take it though because we need to spam pass I could activate single take, but look at right there. We get team takeover off that pass. So now we have 139 three pointer. He's leaving me wide open from behind half court. Green. Oh my god. Yo, yo, look at that. Our first shot with 139 three pointer. We are shooting behind the half court line already. So that's our first shot with the 139 three point rating. So as you can see, we still have team take. I still have the high three pointer. So I'm messing around there at this point. I'm trying to see what else we could do. Should we start cooking from behind the half court line? Look at me, I'm going left, I'm going right. I shoot this from way behind half. Obviously that was a little contested. So you know what it is, what it is. Look at they start double teaming me behind half court. So I hit Jay Curry and look at this. Jay Curry throws me the ball with his playmaking takeover. I'm on the other three point line and it's green. From the other three-point line is insane. 
I mean, dude, y'all heard my other, my live reaction. From the other three-point line, y'all, on our sec or third shot with this 139 three-pointer, subscribe to the channel right now if that is crazy. I mean, oh my God. I got I got to see if we can shoot deeper because if I can shoot deeper, and as you see, I tried to right there and it gives me a chuck shot. So from there, you can't get a standing still shot animation. So I'm thinking now, we might have shot the deepest you could shoot where you could still at least time your shot because obviously those chuck animations you can't time it so it's just gonna probably be an air ball see look at i do it again right there it just gives me a chuck animation and even that almost looks like it was exactly where we shot the last shot from you see this is where we shot the the shot that we could get a standstill from so i think that's the farthest you can shoot a jump shot from in 2k23 and we're graining it which makes sense because 139 three-pointer you can shoot from the farthest possible point in still green. That is absolutely insane to see right here. We go to the half court, two guys in front of me, and it was a yellow contest. It doesn't matter, y'all. That's green. I mean, this is overpowered, y'all. We're only on game number one. That was only my first attempt at using this. Now, I want to go into another game right here and not go for team takeover this second game just to show y'all what this build is capable of with this high oh. running and we're taking a dunk in an 143 point ready video I okay enough with the dunks so now we're gonna go for the threes and look at what this build's capable of i'm also gonna show what this build is capable of in this stage because i be playing a lot on this 6-1 for fun because it's a fun build bro when you have a 99 three-point rating it is fun it obviously has no defense so you probably can't play twos or ones with it but you be, I'm going crazy with this build. I mean, I can fade. I can shoot from half. Obviously, clearly, you can shoot from the other side of the court with this build. Um, you can really do it all. I'm also super fast. I have 95 acceleration. Look at That's already, what, three threes right there into this game we just started. We're going We're going with the Asa slide, going back out to the three. Where are these dudes at? We're going back into the paint. We're going right back out. A little curry slide. Step back. KD sides up from half court. Green. That's four threes now. I mean... We are absolutely cooking. We go in, we go right back out, back fade in his face, still green. Is that five threes now? We still have takeover. Over to the right fade, that's six threes. And this is all in the same game, y'all. I mean, I'm just cooking up from half court, two people on me, doesn't matter. That's seven threes just in that game. But anyways, going on to game number three, we're going back to getting this 139 three-pointer. Because obviously that last game, you know, most of the game we had like a 113 three-pointer uh, with the single takeover floor general and the arm sleeves. But obviously we start the game with 105 three-pointer because of the plus two to the arm sleeves and the plus four from Hall of Fame floor general from one of my teammates. So we start the game once again, going for team takeover. So we're spamming passes around because, you know, the first game we obviously shot some pretty deep shots but most of them were catching shoots one of them wasn't but now it's time to see can we cook up from behind half court because you all saw the last game they were guarding me from behind there so they're clearly respecting me from that range with this build but yeah this game we were just spamming passes it was kind of funny this game because there was a dude in game chat look at you can see him in game chat guarding me and he was like mad irritated because i was like trying he said i was trying hard on defense but i mean if you look at my build i have no defense <laughs> I don't have a single defensive attribute on this build. And uh, it's funny because he never picked up on us just spamming passes. Like he thought we were just playing normal. Like we clearly aren't playing normal. Uh, we're literally just spamming passes until team take. You see, we only have six points. Look at our team takeover bar. I mean, it's almost completely filled. We get another steal right here. Once again, we go right back into the passes. It was kind of irritating having to do this every game. But to ensure that we get this 139 three-pointer, this is what we got to do for the video, y'all. So drop a like, okay? Drop a like on the video. Obviously, this is not something you would just do every game to get this. But this is just to see, test the limits. I mean, this is the highest three-pointer you could possibly get in the game. You can't go higher physically. There's nothing possible. We're using everything that's in the game to get as high three-pointer as possible. So anyways, you see our team takeover bar is literally basically filled we're just waiting on something. It could be a pass. You know, it randomly pops up. I don't know why it randomly pops up, but once you have the, the meter completely filled, it'll just randomly pop up. So we're just spamming passes. We get a back door to Jay Curry. It's 10 to eight now. So we haven't even scored a lot of points, which is a good thing. So we'll have enough time to like be able to, you know, get some shots up. And right there, we get team takeover. So now we have a 139 three pointer from behind half court. Catch and shoot. Oh my God, that's green that's great once again i'm showing replays just so y'all can see how far away i am shooting the ball from now that was a catch and shoot so we gotta see 
more of like, can we cook up from behind there? You know what I'm saying? Because we really got to test everything. Like we're, we want them to score. We're leaving them wide open so we can just get the ball immediately, not waste too much of the take, team take. This team take drains. The meter drains pretty fast. So right here, this dude's guarding me. I'm trying to cook up. Obviously, I got to go left to right to try to get a three right. I'm just going back and forth. Oh, my God. Blinders from behind half. From the other three-point line, y'all. With blinders. We just shot a blinder shot. We are cooking dudes from behind half court. Shooting from the opposite three-point line. Do y'all not realize how crazy that really is? I mean, we are shooting from the farthest point you could possibly shoot on this game. I showed y'all earlier. I'm going to show you more games later on. And obviously, our takeover runs out. So we're back at the 105 three point. But look at this a crab, a crab at half court, a crab at half court. We are getting this dude stuck behind me at half court and shooting right in his face. Basically, he's right on top of me. And I'm still shooting it. And we are greening it right there with 105 three point rating. It's getting ridiculous, bro. The, the things you can do with this high three-pointer. Look at their old jumping. What you jumping at? Not all three of them. Not a high five. Are they high-fiving to each other, y'all? Not the, the high five is crazy, y'all. But anyways, moving on to game number four. Now it's time to really test this theory again on the farthest we can shoot. Is that really the farthest we can shoot? Because I want to make sure we green a shot from the farthest you can shoot without getting a chuck animation, of course, because then at that point, it's just uncontrollable. It doesn't give you a meter or, or it doesn't let you time it. You know what I mean? It doesn't give you a release. You can't get a slightly early. You can't get a slightly late. You can't get an early, a late, anything, a green from those Chuck animations anymore. You used to in older 2Ks. I think in 2K19 you could. But anyways, we're just getting up threes this game. I'm trying to have them flashy pass me the ball because they both have special delivery on as well. So that could increase my takeover as well. So we're just throwing the ball around, maybe going for team take, testing out this special delivery as well. I'm going for mid ranges as well, just so we don't take up too many points because I want to be able to get a lot of shot attempt greens behind half court with this three point rating. But yeah, I mean, we're going crazy. Let me know what y'all think. If you watched the 140 driving dunk video, what do you think is more overpowered? 140 driving dunk or 139 three pointer? I think it's 139 three pointer in my opinion, uh, because you really do get to shoot actually farther out with the dunks. You probably just get more animations, but it's nothing you can't physically do with a 99 dunk. Um, but it is pretty crazy still. But yeah, we're at 105 three-pointer still. I get a quick drop. It's 12 to 4. We're getting close to team take. I'm getting close to double take. Jay Curry, the guy with play take, is getting close to double take as well. We're throwing the ball around, trying to get another flashy right here. He doesn't get the flashy animation, so I hit him back. It doesn't work again. We hit him back. I'm trying to get a off, uh, point off a of flashy pass. He gets it. I shoot the fadeaway mids right over him, by the way. And with blinders, it was open. So that was kind of crazy. Right now, since J. Korea's has double play take activated, floor general arm sleeve, so now I have 118 three-pointer. So the only boost we're missing is my double takeover. And right there, that's why I green that because we don't even need team takeover anymore. My double take will give us 139 three-pointer because he has double take. And look at this. We're trying to shoot the farthest point now, but my recording was glitching. So ignore that for this clip. I don't know what was going on, but you see, I get a chuck animation first. And then at the, almost the same spot, I get a standing shot and I green it. You see the green. So that is officially the farthest point. And then we try to get a chuck. Uh, yeah, that's never going in. Okay. Those chuck animations are never going in. But look at another crab. Oh, my, this is too tough, yo. But yeah, that, that's confirmed. We officially have greened multiple times from the farthest possible point you can shoot from in this game. So that's a massive W. Okay. Uh, so clearly there really isn't a limit to 139 three pointer. Drop a like if that's crazy overpowered. But anyways, going to the next game, we're just trying to get more clips. We've already confirmed that we can get blinders from back there. You know, we can get some good clips. We can also shoot from the deepest point. But now we, we got to have a little fun with it. You know what I'm saying? We got to get some more clips with this because this is crazy, y'all. I mean, like, I've never had more fun with the high three-point rating before because I can really just shoot from anywhere once i get that double take on my teammate has double take but anyways we're working up the takeover you see this guy's rage quitting already i have 139 three pointer right here because i have double take my teammate has double take and look at this oh my where's he going where's he going off that trey young size up oh my lord that was a just i destroyed him right there once again over those over those what was the contest like a 17 11 percent a hand in the face 
be at half court line and it's green y'all i mean that's the power of 139 three-pointer back fade from the paint oh my yo this is crazy but anyways i decided to throw in some stage gameplay because i have played a lot of stage with this and we've gotten a lot of clips i'm going to show two gameplays and then i'm going to show some just some highlight clips with this build um, and I'm also going to have the three-point rating still there. I don't think we ever get to 139 point rating in the stage because nobody, none of my teammates had play take here, but it's still wild what we were doing. I mean, subscribe to the channel right now if you think it was overpowered. I think it's crazy. I mean, is there another rating that y'all want me to test? Let me know. I don't know if there's really anything else that's worth doing, but let me know. So you see two seconds, I get a little fade. That's green. If you get the timing down for these R2 or trigger fades, you can go crazy with these short builds. That's for that's for sure, okay? But yeah, we have 113 three-point rating right here with my take over the floor general on the arm sleeves. I'm shooting over that guard. He clearly does not have the perimeter defense to even think about contesting me. 20 to 19 for game point. Do I have ice in my veins, y'all? 20 to 19. I think I took it to, yeah, took it to the basket, the bailout to the corner to my boy in the corner that's green so we can also dish it with this build see this build can really do it all because i got quick drops and everything you see we're playing more level 40s this next game this build i just want to make sure y'all know even with the last build we do the 140 dunk it can play against comp you can play in this stage with this 99 three-point rating that you eventually get to 105 113 118 even 139 three-pointer like we were showing earlier in the video and we were cook cooking up. Wait until y'all see these stage clips at the end here because they're absolutely insane. 113 three pointer right here. We're up 11 to five. Front fade in his face. I don't care if you're coming. You're, you're, you're co coming up. I don't care. I'm not gonna get baited. Catch and shoot from basically half court in the stage. Green doesn't matter. That's with 113 three pointer. Front fade at the hash. Get off my court. Come on now, that's a blowout against three level 40s right there. And we shot seven for seven, seven for eight. We get into the next game, 17 to 16, half court. Oh my gosh. Look at these clips. I mean, these clips are kind of wild. Some of these clips we get. I mean, where are they going out to the three? That is green, my boy. Oh my God. Cook it. And these are lockdowns guarding me. Keep that in mind. Everyone guarding me in these stage clips are builds made to play defense on these shorter builds. Like they're literally, they made a build to play defense. Think about that. And they are not still guarding me still. Behind half court in the stage, green. I mean, dude, mascot guarding me. A mascot guard. Oh, where are you going? Oh my God. Looking like he got ice skates out there. Looking like he got ice skates from behind half court. From behind half court with the level 40 guard. It don't matter. Another level 40 guard of me. Oh my God, that's a fade over the tallest mascot in the game. It don't matter. It don't matter. Where's he going? Um, what you jumping at? Green, <laughs> let me walk away from it. Oh my gosh, yo, this build is too fun, bro. Back fade over this dude who's cold. He's cold for a reason, by the way. And then we got a couple game winners because I got ice in my veins. Y'all know this from the other videos. Stop playing with me. But look, drop a look at the video if y'all enjoyed it. Subscribe to this channel if you guys are new. And go check out this 140 driving dunk video I did. Very similar to this video. Click on the video right here, y'all. And I'm out. Peace.